Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I obviously unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In tonight's video I'm going to be unboxing... <laughs> well it's kind of hard to hide it, I mean look at, look at this thing. <laughs> what I'm going to be unboxing is the well, it's not even huge in like quantity amount. It's just huge in like physical size. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be unboxing my huge uh, vintage haul that I did with Roback Vault. <laughs> yeah, I better, I better put this down somewhere over here, guys. So yes, I have recently done a huge haul with Throwback Vault. It's been many, many years since I have bought from Throwback Vault. Um, not for any, you know, particular reason. It's not because I just, you know, uh, disliked Throwback Vault for a couple years or something like that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, it was just like, I, I don't know, moved away from vintage for a while and went hunting for, um, I don't know, a bit of everything else. My wardrobe is a bit of a mess on direction. It's kind of just anything I like, I buy, and then it's just turned into this huge mess. But yeah, uh, Throwback Vault, they hold a special little place in my heart. They were the first boutique where I bought like my first vintage varsity jacket, which I still own today. Uh, my first, like a, a bunch of different leather jackets that I own. Um, yeah, they really introduced me into vintage. Uh, and they, when I first bought from them back in 2018, uh, they had some really nice pieces at some really affordable prices. And still to this day, they still uh, have exactly that. Some really nice pieces at some really affordable prices. Um, so yeah, recently I've quite obviously done a big little haul from them. All centered around a certain theme, which is uh, Americana and pieces that are uh, very traditional American, I would say, or Aboriginal American designed. So um, yeah, recently I have was sharing a bunch of posts on my Instagram story of uh, Japanese people rocking uh, one of the most recent Junior Watanabe seasons, uh, which in that season it featured a bunch of pieces that had a lot of traditional American, Aboriginal American designs on them. And I thought, wow, I would really love some of that season. I don't make Junior Watanabe money, even on 50% uh, off. <laughs> so yeah, and I also couldn't find it in my size in a lot of boutiques that I look at because it already had sold out by the time I was looking. So I was like, oh, well, I'm definitely not going to be able to get the Junior Watanabe pieces from that season that I want. Well, I better just buy, you know, vintage ones, uh, or sorry, vintage originals that that season very much would probably take influence from. And I did exactly that from Throwback Vault. So I went scouring through their website to find a lot of pieces with, yeah, very traditional um, American prints, designs, everything like that. And I picked up a couple. I picked up three in total. I picked up a wool rich wool coat in a 2XL made in the USA. I picked up a vintage Black Mountain Eagle fleece jacket, my first fleece jacket in the wardrobe. I can't believe it's taken me this long to actually do that. I know, huge fan of Capital, and I haven't got a fleece jacket by now. I'm crazy. Uh, the third jacket that I got was a vintage Blue River trading wool coat, an extra large. Very, very keen to unbox that one as well. Very keen to showcase that to you guys. So yeah, three jackets, very, very big. XL, 2XL, they should look absolutely massive on me, even though I am quite a large fella at like, you know, six foot five, 115, 116 kilos, like these will look massive on me. So uh, yeah, very keen to showcase to you what I picked up, what uh, drew me to these pieces. Let's get into it guys. Let's unbox this. I mean, I could label it Americana vintage haul <laughs> uh, that I picked up from Throwback Fault. Let's get into it. Okay, well, this is uh, this is going to be. I, I don't know how how it's all held up, flying all the way from Canada. I think they are. I think Throwback Vault's situated in Canada. Um, yeah, it got stuck quite a few times in like Melbourne and um, I think New York. I think it got stuck in New York. So uh, it did take a while for it to get here, but it has finally arrived. So as long as it's all in good nick, then I've got nothing to complain about. But uh, yeah. 
got stuck in various different locations. I was kind of worried for it. I was like, oh geez, I hope it doesn't get stuck and lost. It's a pretty big package though. You can't really lose something like this. <laughs> well, you hope that you don't lose something as big as this. And it weighs a bit too. It's like five or six kilos of just like vintage wool jackets and fleece jackets. So this will be interesting. Okay. Yeah, there we go. I'll try and close up these scissors there. Let's see, Woo. some of the designs there already. So let's get this first one out. Oh, okay. Here we have, uh, this is, I think the Woolrich one. Yeah, the Woolrich 2XL coat featuring, as I was trying to really go for, a very like traditional American Aztec like design with that one. And what I really liked about this piece was it had this really interesting suede shoulder area and a lot of just pockets everywhere. I thought this is a very cool piece. That one whew, there for the moment. Okay, actually I'll put this down on the floor. Moving into the next piece, I thought this one was really sick. What we have is, this is it, the Blue Mountain Eagle Fleece Jacket. Look at the colors on that. I just think that's crazy. And it's all over print. Well, wow. we're gonna have it on the back. It's very, very warm. It feels like a blanket. It's, yeah, I don't know. Just thought it was really, really cool. Black Mountain, there we go. Black Mountain Outdoor. I mean, I don't even know if any of these brands are still around to be honest, but I just thought like, when do you see a piece like that with the colors on it like that? Like you just don't see this type of thing. And I thought this is a very cool fleece jacket to make my uh, first fleece jacket in the wardrobe. Last but not least, oh, this one I was very keen on as well. We have, oh my God, the Blue River Trading Co. Extra Large. I guess it's more of a pea coat, I suppose. Fully zipped up. I really liked the pattern on this one. I just thought it was a really cool design over here. And it's all over. It's all over like this. I thought that was, yeah, just a really sweet design. Um, reminded me of a lot of the patterns used in the Junior Watanabe season and a lot of pieces uh, that I've seen before in other vintage websites and stuff. But yeah, that is the three of them. Um, oh, it's gonna be really hard to showcase this, isn't it? <laughs> They're just so big. They're just big pieces. So. Um, yeah, what I will do is I will showcase them all individually on body now that I've unboxed them. But here they are. I don't think there's anything else in the box. No, nothing else in the box. Awesome. Um, I'll showcase them on body, guys, so you can have a look. But yeah, I, I really love these prints. On, well, not these prints, but these designs on them. Just very, very unique. Um, I'll showcase them now on body so you guys can have a look. Okay, so here they are all here, <laughs> even though, the, I mean, yeah, I tried to lay them out as best as possible, but they're massive jackets, so it's really hard to try to showcase them uh, the best I could. I should also be wearing, well, not suit pants, I should be wearing denim, definitely denim for this, like some really nice blue denim with these pieces. Ooh, that would be really, really solid, but we'll get into it, we'll get into it now. So. The first piece, which is the Woolrich uh, Made in the USA trench coat. I really love the pattern on this one. And this one is huge with so many, so many pockets in it. So I'll just get that one like this. <laughs> Look at it, it's absolute. There's so much room. I can wear a hoodie under this. I can wear, ooh, a hoodie under this. This could be a fun time. I like its suede detailing up here. Um, it's got that very vintage smell though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to like get this washed and get this, yeah. But yeah, the colors on it. It's, I honestly was kind of worried it was gonna be too loud because of how many colors are situated on it. But I think it's toned down enough where even though it's got heaps of colors here, it doesn't look too loud or too crazy. This is gonna be really nice to wear. I mean, I uh, bought it in like early winter, mid-winter, and now it's coming towards the end of winter. So I probably won't even get to wear this until like next year. But yeah, look at that. I, I mean, look, it's 
it's like you're, um, instead of buying bougie capital and stuff like that, you can just buy vintage Americana or uh, traditional American designs and bam, you've got it all sorted. <laughs> there it is all there. Um, Jeez, it's very, very heavy. Very heavy piece though. Chuck that one down here. We'll move on to the next one. Police jacket. Put that over there as well. So we've got unzip it there. I love like the colours on this. I was really worried they were gonna be too loud, but I'm I'm feeling it man. It's like it's exactly what you want. Let's do it up because it's an all over print design we got to have it zipped up and ready to go I'm actually quite amazed that the zips all work they're all functioning so that's quite surprising normally when I see zips I'm like yeah it's a vintage piece it's definitely not gonna work yes yes I love <laughs> I love this I love the col the colors on that eagle here crazy crazy Oh my god, it's so warm. Again, I'm gonna be going into summer, into the wrong season, and it's just, oh, look at that, look at, look at the gradient. I love that blue to like purple to red down the bottom. It's just, whew, totally opposite to a lot of the stuff that I normally wear, but very fun. There, oh wait, does it have a cinch? Oh, it does. It has a um, elastic band that I can pull on to tighten it because this is that like this is quite wide. It's got a lot of room there. Oh, this is comfy though. I like this. This I, this was actually the main reason that when I saw this, I was like, I need to go through Throwback Vault and see if there's any other like very American-looking design pieces. This was the one that captured me. I was like, I have not seen a fleece like this. I love it. I want to pick it up. Let's do a haul, and yeah, here we are now. Fantastic. I, how does the design look on the back? Yeah, that color is really nice. I like that. Okay, moving on to the second part, uh, the last one. Take off the fleece. Take it off there. Chuck it over here. Moving into this, the Pico. Take that off there which I honestly thought was going to be more of a trench. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer, but maybe it'll sit a little bit longer on me. Uh, might just be a pea coat for me. Oh, actually. <laughs> Look at these colors. That's crazy. Oh my God. Am I going to have the collar popped though? Am I going to be, you know, like this? Oh, actually, wait, where's the pockets? Ooh, but they're back here. Oh, this would like, yeah, some blue denim, like a denim shirt or like a canvas shirt or something. I'm wearing the wrong outfit. I need to totally reassess and wear it with like denim and stuff. But the wool is really comfy. I really like the colors on it. Yeah. Look at that. I did. <laughs> now I'm just going to be buying all this like. Aztec printed stuff and like a, a, a traditional American uh, stuff. There was actually there's a lot of brands that are doing this type of stuff these days. So I'm yeah, this is comes down to there. Well, that's the whole haul of it. How much will I wear of this in the next coming uh, couple months? Probably not a lot of it because well. Yeah, we've got a uh, winter wrapping up pretty soon then we're heading into spring. I don't know if I'll get away with rocking any of this in spring, but maybe there'll be some cold days. Maybe there'll be some cold days. But I'd love to hear thoughts and opinions on which pieces you like the most out of the ones that I picked up. I'm very much like this or the fleece. The fleece goes crazy. Um, I really just wanted to pick pieces up that were really, really crazy in color. And uh, yeah. Really, I mean, that was the main thing. I saw the colors used in Junior Watanabe's, uh, again, I think it was Fall Winter 22, or maybe Fall Winter 21. Whichever season that was with Jim, uh, Jamiroquai and stuff like that. I really liked the colors used in that season, and I wanted to go hunting for pieces that used those kind of colors. And Throwback Vault had a bunch of pieces that had those like Aztec designs, the like traditional American colors and designs, like the Pedalton type stuff, 
and yeah that's why i picked all these up but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions on any of the jackets um which one's your favorite etc etc down in that comment section below and that's it all unboxed guys that is the uh <laughs> well again i say huge but it's just physically the size of the jackets is quite large <laughs> The huge throwback vault haul that I did um, centered around the idea of me trying to pick up pieces that were, yeah, traditional American, Aztec inspired vintage pieces because, yeah, I saw a bunch of people rocking the Junior Watanabe pieces and I thought, damn, some of those colors are sick. I have heaps of denim. I feel like this would work quite comfortably with a lot of pieces that I have in my wardrobe, even though that, well, at the time I wasn't rocking a lot that actually worked well with those pieces but <laughs> you know I rock a bunch of denim um, a bunch of button-up shirts made out of canvas materials and stuff you, you know you can get it to work very easily and yeah I'm, uh, hopefully I find some time before the end of winter to rock those pieces we'll have to see maybe there'll be a cold day in spring a couple but then I might choose other pieces <laughs> god it's getting it's getting tough with a lot of pieces in my wardrobe but at least I've got versatility in my wardrobe you know um especially with the jackets and everything like that the pants not so much but i'm trying to work my way down to a like a 38 so i can get some more pants options um hopefully i can work my way to that because i would love to get some capital denim in my wardrobe some capital pants in my wardrobe um they're just really small and i'm not really small so Let's see how that all goes. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on any of the pieces that I unboxed. I think my favorite's the fleece, maybe the Aztec, uh, Aztec looking peacoat. Flesh, ah, it's not really a trench, it doesn't go far enough down on me, but yeah, peacoat, um, we'll have to see. Might change my mind later on, but let me know your thoughts and opinions on either the throwback vault or the pieces that I've picked up down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep showcasing all the pieces that I'm unboxing, all the pieces that I'm interested in, uh, just give me the three indicators I'm always asking you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,415 subs. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month but that's all i got to say about these pieces guys i'm very happy to actually have them now um i'm very happy with the options that throwback vault offered and uh the prices that they offered them for uh, offered me these pieces at <laughs> but yeah uh they have an amazing selection they have a lot of awesome stuff there uh if there's a lot of more standout pieces that have crazy wacky designs like these uh, i'm definitely looking to pick more up from them i noticed they had a lot of biker jackets you know leather biker jackets in at one point so yeah if they get more of those in or get more leather jackets vintage leather jackets in in general i have to pick some up but anyway that is them all there guys let me know your thoughts down in that comment section below and until the next throwback vault video until the next streetwear talk video until the next unboxing video in general i'll catch you later <laughs>